from Phoenix Shading, Ultra, and we're going to have a shave with it coming up next. <laughs> Hi, YouTubers and watch Shavers everywhere. It's MarkerGeorgeStune.com. I'm back in another video. Great to see you again. Thanks so much for stopping by and sharing your time with me. Love getting together with you and talking all things traditional wet shave. We have a brand new shave soap in the Shave Den from Phoenix Shaving. Before we get to that, hey, if this is your first visit to the channel, welcome. Make yourself at home. Check out all the other videos and also please consider subscribing. I welcome your company and your comments from Phoenix Shaving. Here it is. Ultra. Right here. This arrived the other day courtesy of Doug and Fran of Phoenix Shaving. Doug and Fran, thank you very, very much. Uh, we received the bundle, the Ultra Shave Soap, along with the aftershave and cologne. Really looking forward to using these in this review today. Now, we also received some information regarding Ultra right here. And as they write here, Ultra is a, Ultra is a true cult classic. Ultra, or other in English, is Al Fiend's imprisoned twin sister held against her will in a windy, mystic river. How she got there and who imprisoned her will be revealed at a later date. Until then, I encourage you all to get lost in this sublime, whimsical, and wondrous fragrance. Yeah, Al Fiend is another shave soap, another scent uh, in the Phoenix Shaving Shave lineup, shave soap lineup. And this one is kind of a twin, kind of a companion to it. Uh, here is the scent profile. Get ready for a really wonderful, multi-layered, uh, elegant, refined kind of scent. French lavender, bergamot, pedigree, rose geranium, tonka bean, clary sage, fir needle, pine, juniper, chamomile, bamboo, cedarwood, Haitian vetiver, rosewood, purple sandalwood, Rose Absolute, Hay Absolute, Oak Moss Absolute. Wow, this is absolutely phenomenal. The scent is just intoxicating. It really is. And sublime is a perfect word. Wondrous is a perfect word. As I say, it's very elegant. It's very refined. Very gentlemanly. Uh, but it also has that masculinity that masculinity around the edges of it, so to speak. Really terrific. You know, when I first when I first caught this scent, I immediately thought of James Bond in a black tie, tuxedo, at a casino, evening out, that sort of thing. The women would definitely be attracted to this scent, they would swoon. But there but again there's that there's enough of that rugged heroic masculinity in the background of this scent. This is the way it impresses me. This is wonderful for an evening night out. Absolutely fantastic, fantastic scent. And check out that artwork there. Uh, the Lava Queen. Uh, how about that? Isn't that great? Absolutely fantastic. There's some more information here that um, uh, Doug provided here. Uh, he says here, being the guy who regretfully made the call to originally discontinue Ultra so many years back, I feel a little guilty if not completely responsible for such a sudden and dramatic shift in what was once a sweet and shy natured river nymph. But heck, it is the spooky season, no? And the circumstances certainly make for a most epic origin story. And never wanting to be accused of not taking advantage of a toasted oven not in use. Um, sorry, lost my train of thought. <laughs> but as you see here, that's very humorous. But as you see here, this is uh, a really elegant, refined, gentlemanly kind of scent, in my humble opinion. But the artwork and everything takes advantage of the Halloween season. Now, if I've timed this correctly, when this uh, review runs, uh, Ultra should be launching uh, on the Friday that this review uh, originates. So, um, 
This is absolutely a fantastic scent. He wraps up by saying, the fact is, Otra is at heart a badass scent. Her own scent. Who doesn't need anything from anyone, even her sprite of a sister? Well, okay, so there's some really, really neat uh, backstory there and a uh, character uh, evolving along with the shave soap. And again, I have not tried Alphine, and I'm glad that uh, Douglas and Doug and Fran bought Otra brought Otra back, so I'm really looking forward to using that. So we're going to go ahead and have a shave with it. We're going to be using my uh, Phoenix Shaving Copper Ascension Razor. We're also going to be using a Strangelet Razor Blade with that. Absolutely looking forward to it. It's going to be an all Phoenix shave. The Doppler Shaving Brush right there. We're going to finish it off, as I said, with the Otra Absolute uh, Ultra. <laughs> Why did I say absolute? Ultra aftershave and cologne. Uh, we're also going to use some mentholated Mysterium serum for upstairs because it is scent free. I'll get a little menthol in there. And I might mix a little bit of Ultra in there. With it, we're going to use my uh, brush go. Oh, I got some hot water in the brush go right now. Don't want to dump that out. We're going to use that to keep the uh, knot nice and warm. Also going to use my Phoenix shaving. Uh, Allen block, the no slip grip, and the dry dock system. So we'll use that for post shave right there. And what else we got going? Oh, yeah, we're going to kick it all off with the Cube 2.0 as the pre shave. Yeah. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take this puck, because it is a brand new puck right there. Let me shut the water up there. It's a brand new puck right there, as you can see. We're going to put a little bit of hot water on there. Okay, just a little bit. Let me get the hot water on there. Just waiting for it to heat up a little bit. Okay, that's good. Okay, a little bit of hot water right there like that. Okay, we're going to put that in there like that. Set that aside. We're going to take my Doppler shaving brush. We're going to go ahead and let that soak. And we're going to go ahead and wet the face and get to the shave. I got about uh, one day's worth of beard growth here. So I'm looking forward to a, a, just a, a, a wonderful, probably two pass shave. Again, uh, the cube is being used this first time around to degrease the skin and the beard, kind of lift things, kind of prep it, and then I'll reapply it as a pre-shave base. All right, let's rinse. Okay. And then we're going to apply it one more time. This has CK6 and activated charcoal. I love this as a pre-shave. I really do. It's terrific. All right, got a towel here to dry my hands off because things do get slick and slippery. Here is that hot water. Just going to dump that in there. Here's my brush. Okay, give that a little ring. And this is CK6. If you can see that, CK6, okay? So <laughs> I'm not going to have to load the brush much at all. I love this brush. has a butterscotch handle. Thanks, Mom. Uh, love the shape of it. Feels great in the hand. 26 millimeter knot. Plays out nicely. It's fantastic for face lathering. Uh, really terrific. Okay, look, that's all I'm going to need right there. Okay, a little more water. Wow, look at that. Look at how that just... I mean, it's been described by some, especially Mantic 59, that CK6 just explodes off the brush, and it does. Look, look at that. Look, I mean... Look what a nice lather I already 
have bomb leather. <laughs> I mean, it's, look at that instantly. Yeah, the free shade helps, but it's CK6 as well. I mean, but look, of course, that's what you want to do when you're doing a traditional white shade. You want to have a good pre-shave, then you want to build a good lather on top of that. You want some good protection, good slickness, good glide, nice creamy, yogurty, uh, thick cushioning, that sort of thing. Okay, this is going to go into the brush scuttle like that to stay nice and warm. Here, let me get my razor blade right here. The, the Strangelet right here. We're going to pull that out. There it is. Strangelet razor blade. We're going to set these over here out of the way like these blades a lot. I have not used them in a while. Okay, there we go. Okay, see, and then, okay, double wrapped. I like that. I always take that as a good sign for a well-made blade. I don't know. I mean, I I could be wrong, but I always take that as a good sign uh, of a well-made blade. So we're going to go ahead. Now, I've got an O-ring here, a buffer ring that helps the adjustment of this this razor because it is twist adjustable. Okay, so we're gonna drop that blade in there like that. It's a double open comb twist adjustable razor. The buffer ring helps you open it up a little more if you want a little more of a uh, blade gap. It allows you to twist it open, twist it open a little for a little wider blade gap. I don't go that, I don't really go that far open with it. We're just gonna go probably, you know what? Maybe a quarter of a turn, something like that. Let me see, where am I? I'm right here. That's probably a quarter there. No, we're not going to do that. We're going to go about halfway between closed and a quarter, so to speak. You know, snugged up in a quarter. So there we are right there. You can see blade alignment, balance spot on. End tabs are enclosed. Has these wonderful notches right here at the end, ends of the razor head, so you can really get a nice firm grip of everything when you're adjusting it. We're going to heat this up under some hot, 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 hot water. We're ready to go. Looking forward to this. Great, great scent. This is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful scent. Refined, elegant, gentlemanly, with enough masculinity in the background when you need it. All right, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. Boy, that's terrific. What a nice, what a nice thick, slick cushion of lather. I mean, a lot of nice protection there. Wonderful. That's absolutely wonderful. No pulling or tugging at all on my neck. The weight of the razor is wonderful. It really does all the work. Boy, that's, <laughs> that's a nice first pass. What a great lather, but the scent is really nice. Really, again, if you're planning an evening out, this is a good one, in my opinion. All right, first pass done, let's rinse. Nice first pass. Very nice. Glad I got the extra water on my skin there because CK6 likes water. I would say I'm right there, probably in the socially acceptable range. If I had to run out the door, I could. But really, uh, uh, I'd want to get a really nice second pass and really clean up nicely. And we're going to go ahead and uh, twist the blade gap closed, a little more closed. For the second pass, probably not all the way, but close to it. And you can see, <laughs> you 
You can see how much lather I have here. You can see me painting it all over here, over my ears, that sort of thing. But that's just the way I am. But really, look at that. What a great lather. And it's nice and warm from the brush scuttle, which is fantastic. So here we have the uh, the razor here. And uh, I'm just going to I'm gonna close it up just a little. You know, let's snug it all the way up. Okay, kind of start at the zero mark and then just open it up just a little bit. Just a little bit. All right, so we're going to go with pass number two. We're going to go east to west across the grain. Well, that's great. That's just enough punch. Boy, that, that's terrific. That is, I really dialed in a nice level of aggression and efficiency there. Now again, a previous shave. I caught a nick right here and it's healing up very nicely and this shaving uh, soap provides a lather that gives me enough uh, protection and slickness to where this is gliding right over that nick and it's not aggravating it and I would say in another day it's going to be completely healed. Barely noticeable, but still you want to be careful. What a great scent. Really, really wonderful, wonderful scent. really love how this razor handles the upper lip and getting all those little bits there. It's a light touch to clean everything up. Just maybe just a little bit here like this. Just to have a little bit of protection there just to get that little bit right there. Might be chasing it a little bit too much. Uh, after the shave, that'll probably retract, so it'll be nice and smooth. So, yeah, you know what, six of one, half a dozen of the other. Sometimes I chase it, sometimes I leave it alone. Second pass done, let's rinse. That's nice, that's really, really nice. And you know what, I'm gonna do a third pass. I'm, having, I'm enjoying the shave so much. I want to do a third pass. I haven't done a third pass in a long time. I probably, it's going to be a very, a very light third pass. But again, I want to show you how much lather I'm getting out of the brush. And I'm getting from the formula CK6. Uh, the, the, the scent is wonderful. Again, it, 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 it is many layered and, and uh, all those Different layers, different notes combined for something that really is, as, as Douglas wrote, sublime and wondrous. I love this scent. And uh, <laughs> this, is, it's, as I say, it just, it just screams elegance, evening, night out. Uh, there's a gentleman, gentlemanly quality to it. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and snug this up all the way. So we're going to be shaving uh, past number three at the mildest position of this uh, twist adjustable razor. So here we go with pass number three. We're going to go south and north against the grain. Oh, that's nice. That's really cleaning things up nicely. What a great razor. Great razor, 
great shaving soap, great brush. You know, I know it's a little early, but if you're thinking about Christmas gifts, this shave soap, this razor, this shaving brush, <laughs> you can't go wrong. Just think about it. And I've mentioned this before, as was pointed out by Douglas regarding this copper razor. You heat this up under some hot water, it retains that heat. It's like having a heated razor. So not only do you have a, a nice warm lather from the brush scuttle or a lathering scuttle, uh, you also have a nice warm razor. Ah, fantastic, especially with the cold months, cooler months coming upon us. Yeah, third pass done, let's rinse. Yeah, that's a nice shave. That really is. That's that's terrific. What, <laughs> what a nice shave. We're going to do my two final rinses. One warm, one cold. All right. Here's my warm water rinse. All right, the warm water rinse comes right out of the tap. I want that other soapy water to kind of go down the drain. Nice, clean, warm water out of the tap to get rid of all the excess slickness. And there is some good slickness there from Formula CK6. Look at this. What a great, what a great, great look. And you can see, I didn't aggravate this this uh, this uh, nick right here it's healing up very very nicely all right here we go with uh, my cold water rinse right now <laughs> boy that's beautiful that is really really nice what a nice shave. Clean, fresh towel waiting for me right here. My gosh. How I love doing the traditional wet shave, but <clears throat> it is especially, especially enjoyable when you're using good quality shaving gear, a good quality shaving soap, good quality brush, an outstanding razor, a good blade, great post-shave products to wrap things up. I mean, wow. What a great feel. I, you know what? It's a great feel. I'm on my way to BBS. No doubt about it. Smooth, close, comfortable, enjoyable, and an absolutely outstanding scent. Love this scent. I've, you know, the last few scents, that uh, last couple of scents, the Tokyo Rose was an absolutely fantastic scent, and now Ultra, fantastic. Love, love, love these scents. Absolutely. All right. Here we go, my L block running under some cold water. Let's get some feedback. Boy, that's smooth as ice. What a delightful shave. Smooth as ice, no stinging, no zinging at all. Absolutely wonderful. Wow. And, it's, and as I say, I'm on my way to BBS. Fantastic. Okay. Maybe one little zing there, one or two zings there, but some nice bracing from the album block too. And here is the dry dock. We're going to put that in there and let the air in the room 
do the rest of the work. Let me show you the uh, the brush because that's the whole point of this shave, the shaving soap. Show you what kind of lather you're getting here. Look at this. Again, you know, CK6. How many times have you seen this wonderful performance from CK6? Uh, absolutely outstanding, outstanding, outstanding shave soap. Love this formula. Really love it. And if you are someone who does not want to use a tallow-based soap, this is a non-tallow soap. So... It's got some great, great ingredients in it uh, that really make it a great lathering shave soap that provides some really, really good protection and some great skin food ingredients. Plus, this scent, really, <laughs> it's a really good scent. Again, uh, this, this scent reminds me, This I, I put this scent kind of in the category with John Frum and High Jump 47. I've, all, I've often talked about those being refined uh, sense, gentlemanly sense, but having that great outdoors kind of vibe to them as well. This one is more refined, more elegant, and it has that rugged heroism to it, but uh, it's, it's, it's more of a, um, how do I want to say it? It's, it, it's, it's, it's more indoors, so to speak. It's more, of an, it's more city than it is, that's it, it's more city than it is rural. High Jump 47 and John Frum are more rural outdoors. This is more city outdoors. That's what I'm thinking, that's what I was looking for. That's really it. This is, this is more city outdoors. That's the way it impresses me. Really terrific. Uh, here is the aftershave and cologne. First time using it. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's Wonderful, absolutely wonderful. We're going to just shake this out. Now they have the plastic restrictor in their bottles now, so you got to really shake that to get it going the first time. Oh man, that's a nice generous amount there. Boy, I love that. That's great. That's absolutely marvelous. A little bit of Mysterium Serum right here. Just a, little, just a little bit. That's all we're going to need. This is good stuff. Some more good, good skin food. Okay. Great shave. Really, really love uh, the Phoenix Shaving Shave Soaps. I really do. If you've been, if you've been a viewer of this channel for... Uh, Quite some time, you know that viewers out there had encouraged me to try artisan shave soaps. And uh, I did. And when I came across Phoenix Shaving, I was totally blown away by how good a non tallow artisan shave soap can be. This is wonderful. Great performance. Great cushion, great protection, great glide, no nicks, no cuts, no irritation, even protected this little bit of a nick that is still healing up, should be healed up in a couple of days, but really did not aggravate at all because it's just a great protective shaving soap. And the scent is wonderful. Again, it's elegant, it's refined, it's gentlemanly. It has an outdoors city kind of vibe to it where the others that I mentioned are kind of rural outdoors, great outdoors. This one really is just uh, great for an evening night out on the town. That really captures it right there. So, Ultra, Ultra from Phoenix Shaving. It's back. Douglas, Doug and Fran brought it back. And again, check out the artwork. Uh, it has a Halloween vibe going for it. Why not? Should launch today, the very day that this video debuts. Uh, if not, continue to look for it, but that was the target date this Friday, today, the Friday that this video is airing. So I hope you can get some because it is really very, very good. And again, no nicks, no cuts, no irritation. Really, really enjoyed this a lot. All right, that's it. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, please like, hit that bell so it'll give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Comment below, let me know. Check out all the great artisan soap makers that you see displayed on the bottom of the screen. They make and offer some wonderful, wonderful artisan shave soap. They also offer some wonderful, wonderful wet shaving gear 
to enhance and really give you a better traditional wet shave. So please, when you get a chance, check them out. I sure would appreciate it. Also, check out my Amazon product page at amazon.com slash shop slash Mark Zerady, where you'll find all the products I review on this channel, organized and categorized, so you can find everything in a snap very easily. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.